we're interacting with people all the time, and we have variable temptations. So, for example, uh, if you hire a contractor and you sort of say, uh, we'll see you at uh, 8 o'clock on Tuesday, um, usually the contractor will show up on time, but he might have had a uh, more important or larger uh, contract uh, where he got there and he didn't want to leave, got there at 7 didn't want to leave. So that's a variable temptation. He has a chance to make a $20,000 sale rather than a $10,000 sale. So he shows up a half an hour late. In our terminology, that's a betrayal. And um, he only did that because he had a very big temptation. And most days he only has a $200 or a $300 temptation. Now, we believe that this is perfectly general, and it applies whether uh, you're a parent dealing with a child who might be misbehaving, or if you're um, a nation dealing with a nation state. Let me give you one of the most important insights in our paper. Um, usually we think with a reputation that someone with a worse reputation will perform less well. And uh, that's because uh, most models have different types of people. Some people who are reliable, some people who are unreliable. But reputations have a second role to play, which is to um, provide incentives so that people aren't unreliable. So, for example, um, I think that all of my students are pretty reliable, but all of them have temptations not to hand in the daily assignment. So I might sort of say, every time you don't hand in a daily assignment, you get what we call in the paper, you get a black mark. And if you get three black marks in the course, we deduct 10 points from your grade. And um, if you start off with everybody being the same, as people get more black marks, they will actually behave better rather than worse. One of my co-authors is um, an expert on the internet. And uh, in the internet now, uh, we get reputations on large numbers of things which just wouldn't have been possible uh, 20 years ago. For example, if you're going to a city, you can find out how good hotels are, how many people have had good experiences with them. If you want to find out whether you should hire this plumber or that plumber, you look on uh, Angie's list, and most of the times, you have no idea of who you're buying something from. So the way that they uh, get your trust is by building reputations. We're so used to these other models where the big difference in reputations is among good people and bad people. And we went to the opposite extreme and we said, we said let's assume everybody is equally good and has the same distribution of temptations coming in. Then you will discover that people who have had, by chance, large temptations who have sort of solid the reputations will have to behave better. They'll wait for um, a bigger temptation before they will um, betray the other side.